Hello, I'm Jennifer Weigel. I am the current exhibiting artist at Salina Public Library, and I'm very honored to be here. Um, I brought some of my photography works and drawings for your perusal, and you can check them out in the online gallery space. I'm going to start by reading my exhibition statement, which is a poem that I wrote a while back, um, contemplating traveling on the highway as a passenger, um, going back and forth between my parents' houses. Contemplation. I was caught in contemplation, the kind of thought you can only do when you're riding someplace, a passenger, passing nondescript scenery as the cornfields sweep by in their mid-July rifts of green and beige. First, I would close my left eye, and then would reopen it and close my right, searching for a sign of my perception of color in the painterly gestures of the cornfields alongside the highway as they cascaded through my vision. It seemed that my right eye saw more vivid colors, olives, topes, brightly decadent trumpet vine orchards. An enormous array of colors glistened before me, and my left eye seemed to seek out details, for it knew a far wider range of clarity, transforming almost everything into dull, muted earth tones and shades of gray. It was my left eye that noticed, for instance, a monarch with wings outstretched, sunning on the Queen Anne's lace that adorned the highway. It was in this contemplation that I lost my sense of time and place. So some of the pieces in the show include my photography works, um, these pieces are printed one of a kind on uh, different materials. The ones included in the show are all printed on wood. And here we have a book. This book features all um, leaf stains on concrete. So as I was walking along, I noticed how the leaves had stained the concrete from the rain and left this sort of residual impression of where they were, almost like they'd made um, monoprints. And so I wound up taking photographs of these leaves as I was walking, and all of them appear in this book. So each page features different, different images of the leaf stains. And then this one is one of my bark photographs. I have an ongoing series called Intimate Portraits of Trees, in which I'm photographing bark studies close up. Uh, I really like how all of the scars and burls and textures of the tree show and they almost become portraits unto themselves. So each one of those photographs features um, just some of the textures and nuances of some of the trees. Um, most of the photography in this show features different scenes out and about in nature of trees predominantly, um, because all of them are printed on wood and I like that material for that. The other works included in this show are drawings of insects that I've done. So all of these are done with pencil on paper. They're framed in unique frames. Each one is completely different. And I started this series after I moved to Kansas when I noticed a sphinx moth sunning on the side of my house. And at the time I didn't know what it was and it was just this huge, crazy looking, almost like butterfly moth-like creature and I had to go and look it up. So that was the first one I'd done. This is a painted lady that I found later that I took a picture of and drew. And all of these um, harken back to the poem that I included as my artist statement, uh, the contemplation one. And so here we have a painted lady butterfly. Um, this one was unfortunately seen um, in really rough shape on the sidewalk. I think it had been hit by a car. And then um, in Newton, there are all of these grasshoppers all over the place. They're, um, all up and down Main Street where some of the taller grasses and weeds exist over by the, the rail yard. And so there's a lot of just random grasshoppers that you can see uh, out there. And most of them will just stay while you walk right up to them and then take a flying leap away about six feet or so from you. Um, and I just, I love the patterns that you can see uh, on the insects too as they're just sitting there. So um, that's the other works that I've included in the show is the drawings with the various insect studies.